this is Robin Ellsworth with Tridea Partners. Welcome to this video tutorial on how to print a report in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. I will be showing you how to print a report by specifying the print destination. I have the Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 client open on my screen. For this video tutorial, we want to print the on-hand inventory report. Navigate to this report by following path Inventory and Warehouse Management, Reports, Expand on Hand, and select On Hand Inventory. For any report you select, a form will be displayed where you can enter parameters to filter the data which will be displayed on the report and select the print destination. Please see my related video on how to filter data on a report for a thorough explanation of the filter option. Click the Destinations button to specify how you want to print the report. In the Print Destination setting form, specify the print destination. To preview a report, select Screen as the print destination. If you want to save a copy of the report in the Print Archive, select the Save in Print Archive checkbox. We will return to the Print Archive option later. Specify the pages of the report you would like to print in the page range area. Click OK to close the print destination setting form. The on hand inventory form shows the selected print destination. Click OK to print the report to the screen. The report is generated and you can then print or save the report from the file menu. Note that when you print a report to the screen, you may need to adjust the text size setting on your computer if it is set to greater than 150% to view all the data on the report. Close the report when you are finished viewing it. Let's take a look at the other print destination options. Back in the on hand inventory form, click the destinations button to open the print destination setting form. This time, let's select Printer as the print destination. Select the Save in Print Archive checkbox if desired. In the Name field, specify which printer the report will be sent to. Click Properties to configure options for that printer. If you change the page layout orientation or the paper size using the Properties form, you must select the Override Default Settings checkbox in order for the changes to take effect. Specify the pages to print in the page range area and specify the number of copies to print in the copies area. Click OK to close the print destinations form. To save the report as a file, select File as the print destination. Select the Save and Print Archive checkbox if desired. In the File Name field, enter a name for the report. Click the folder icon to select the location to save the file to. Select the format of the file. Specify the page range and then click OK to close the print destination setting form. You can also send the report using email. Select email as the print destination. Select the print archive checkbox if desired. Specify who will receive the email in the To and CC fields. Enter the subject of the email. Select the report file format. This file is attached to the email message sent. Specify a page range and click OK to close the print destination setting form. The Save in Print Archive option allows you to save the report in the print archive in order to view or print the save report as a later date. Select Print Archive as the print destination. Specify the pages of the report to print in the page range area. Click OK to close the print destination setting form and click OK in the on-hand inventory form to print the report to the selected destination. 
A message appears letting you know that the report has been successfully saved in the print archive. Close the info log. To view or print the report saved in the print archive, follow navigation path, organization administration, and in the inquiries area, select print archive. You can also access the print archive from the file menu. Select file, tools, and print archive. In the print archive form, select the report you would like to view. Click print preview to preview the report and then print the report. Note that you must print the report from the PDF viewer and you cannot print directly from the print archive form. When finished, close the print archive form. I hope you have enjoyed this video on how to print a report in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and please check out the Tridea Partners website for additional information at tridiapartners.com.